The tall elf stares into the pit with dry, bloodshot eyes, her face betraying no emotion. We lose too much. We lose our homes, we lose our safety, we lose each other. She looks into your eyes, her face set in a fierce frown. It is enough. No more. I do not doubt it. The void is too close. It pulls us all toward it. If we do not hold fast, we disappear inside it. You honor us during the ritual. You honor Sarius. You help remember him. You help bury him. But we need help still, or we perish here. Not only these people here, but all of us. I wonder if you honor us once more. It is something of great importance to me and to my people. Our home forests are gone. The great trees are cut to pieces. The memories inside them nearly lost. They become nothingness unless we find our scion. Yes, there is nothing more important than a scion. We lose our forests to poachers, to the fog, to the divine order. We lose each other to the wars. A scion is our only hope to survive, to build again. And this scion, she, she is... Her voice catches in her throat. She is my daughter. Her name is Sahela, and she is taken from us. That is why we come here. That is why we lose Sarius, to find her. If she is lost, if our scion is lost, all our people are lost. Her eyes narrow, her fists clench, and her mouth tightens to a thin line. Do you know the lone wolves? Then you know the risk. We come here to get her back, to bring her home. She is everything to me. She is everything to us. You do. You speak to her. Then you understand. You see what a gentle soul she is. You see how kind. She is not only a scion, but a precious child. She cannot be lost. You honor us. I fear it is impossible for one of my kind to enter their base. They know we are here. They expect us. She is taken by their leader, a savage man named Roost Anlon. I do not know why, but I know she must return to me. If I lose her, I cannot lose her. We plan another assault. We cannot give up. It is better for us all to die than for Sahela to be lost. I only hope perhaps you find her before then. Good luck. Once all are well, once more we take the mill. And kill the lone wolves all. Bind that wound that it does not fester. I see you. Once more, we take the mill and kill the lone wolves all. Heal your wounds. We need you standing. 
Yield or not, I fight. Once all are well, once more we take the mill. And kill the lone wolves all. Once all are well, once more we take the mill. And kill the lone wolves all. Once all are well, once more we take the mill and kill the lone wolves all. Once all are well, once more we take the mill. And kill the lone wolves all. Worry not, the wound tells the eye a lie. In truth, the pain is not so bad. The lone wolf in the mill, who cuts me so, has luck upon his side. For now, not so our own dear Sarius. If his tree may grow, perhaps he may find rest. The shaman knows about these things, not I. Tova is our hope. Tova leads the way. I see you. I see you. The shaman searches your eyes for a sign that you might be lying. Mm, you speak the truth. Your news is good. Many trees are lost to the death fog, and the ritual does not always work. This is not a well of souls, but a simple pit. We stand ritual more in hope than faith. A single tear appears at the corner of one eye, but he ignores it. We may yet live on, we elves. I see the good in you. I see the bad in you. I see the all of you. I see you and I fear you not. Injured I may be. Do not take me for vulnerable. Bind that wound that it does not fester.
Bind that wound that it does not fester. I fight, I do not win, and I do not die. It is this way from the moment we left our homeland, from the moment the mists of death descend. Sarias dies, but Sarias's tree is born. A homeland may arise once more if all is well. For this, we fight. We fight for our lives as we fight all our lives. We fight the black ring on the side of the divine, but Lucian betrays us. Lucian sends us to our deaths. And so we fight and fight again, and fight until the moment where we find our home once more. Our blood is in the soil, our ancestors in the trees, our memories in the wood. Our homeland is all of us. You cannot understand. Speak to Tova if speak you. I see you. The shaman searches mm. a single... We may yet... Please, hurry. Anything... Roost and Lorn and his lone wolves take Sahela. She is my daughter. She is a scion. If she is lost, an eternity of memories will be gone. This cannot happen. Bind that wound that it does not fester. You must find your way. Find that wound that it does not fester. Please, hurry. Anything you can find out, anything you can do to bring her home. She cannot be lost.
A vast continent full of... Please, hurry. I see the good in you. I see you. We have little, a fair bargain. I see you. Dear, dear one, how beautiful you are. How you shine against the misery that surrounds us. You must join us, Sibyl. The great mother tree is sick. You must help us. Find our kin near the mill. They will tell you. I see you, dear one. And you see me too, though I lord over this dead place like a ghoul. I am not certain that is true. I hope it is. It gives me no pleasure to send one of my own into that evil place. We must protect ourselves and each other. Revenge. I dare not think about it. It seems so impossible. But you are strong. I see it. You are brave. I see it too. I will give you a way to cross the death fields below. It will protect you. I see you, dear one. You make us proud. Again.
Guards ahead. They don't look friendly. Careful now, that's a trap. Get away from me, you lone wolf tosser. Likely story, wolf. Go on. Piss off. Else what? You lone wolves kick the shite out of me and send me into an accursed minefield where my cart gets blown up and I get killed and all you can do is laugh. <laughs> what could you possibly do that's worse than that? Likely story, wolf. The ghostly elf stands protectively over his corpse, eyes darting across the minefield. His gaze never quite falls on you. You are a warrior, proud and true. You saw your people die as the death fog consumed the forest. You heard them scream and then fall silent. You came for revenge, and you found your own death. Careful now, that's a trap. Was it a trap?
The elf spirit seizes you by the shoulders, but you feel nothing. His eyes are panicked, and he appears to be shouting something, but you can't hear him. He screams on, but with another's voice. An elven child, in terror and in pain. The fog, the fog, the fog! Those screams will never leave you, even after your death. The ghostly elf stands. You are a warrior. Away from me, you lone wolf tosser. Likely story, wolf. Go Get away from me, you lone wolf. T Fine day for a walk about, don't you think? You enjoy it now, here? Never know when you might end up like me. Then your imagination will have to do you. Best of luck to you. You have yourself a pleasant day now, here. Sure as Mama Morris died of a toilet spider. Only oversaw the place for dang near 50 years after all. Now, in my day, we were a proper mill turning around half a ton of timber by the day. No mean feat for an operation this size, I tell you. Had to shut her after the last of the elf raids, though. They were brutal. Can't say I blame them, what with how quick we were turning over those trees of theirs. But a fellow's got to make a living, you know. Oh, I doubt it. We mostly supplied the divine order, see? They couldn't get enough of the stuff. Not much, no. Never met him myself. I do know they rigged this place to holy high heaven just after settling in, though. Some folks are very private. To an elf, maybe. To me, it meant food on the table and enough gold to pay the doctor. Never know when a hat spider will get you. Me? Oh no, sock spider. Bye now.
suspect these skulls were left here as a warning. Don't expect a welcome. Unhappy people are sloppy, unreliable. Logical. Wanted to get eaten by a bleeding point. And you think that won't happen here? Relax, sitting ducks. True enough. And that giant lizard must look like a great mutton chop to us. I've spotted something. You stand, stunned. Before you, as if she stepped out of a dream, she awaits. The woman you've dreamt of since birth. The Red Princess. You do not disappoint, my prince. You're every bit the gentleman they said you'd be. 
How very pleasurable is it not to finally meet in the flesh? For it is very much in the flesh that we must meet after all. Become one. Oh, Father. Life Shaper. That is what the Goddess called you. How good of you, dear Prince, that you have come to shape life in me. It will be so much more than merely an honor, I hope. Softly, she moves her body against yours, puts her arms around your neck, her mouth hot against your ear. Let's forget for a moment all the forces that drove us here, shall we? Let us think of nothing but ourselves, one amid a nest of satin. You and I, we know each other like only true lovers do. So at long last, let us become lovers. Her endearing smile just about melts your heart. Wonderful. Come, let's retire to that satin nest of mine. Follow me. The interior of the wagon is like a world unto itself, a slice of home all too far away. The scent of incense abounds as the Red Princess reclines luxuriously upon large pillows embroidered with mythical scenes. Twas then he came to Oram and slew the seven-headed snake. And seven wives they brought him for him to leave or take. I was never very fond of that verse, actually. But tell me, how would you like to be remembered? As a hero or a lover? The expected answer, which does not, I hasten to say, make it a disappointing one. So very few of us understand the true nature of ambition, of power. You are ambition and power. Of course, you're not the only one. My name is Sadha. I thought you knew. Forgotten. But that wouldn't do at all. I remember every dream you were in. She smiles and quizzically tilts her head. You can do better than that, can't you? She eagerly returns your kiss, and just like that of the goddess, it is long and sweet as rose water. Kiss me again, sweet prince. As you kiss, you can feel one of her hands grabbing you by the back of the neck as the other slides down in between your legs. A whisper and a moan. Undress. You remove your clothes, she removes hers, and soon, you're in each other's arms again, naked. How unbearably beautiful it is, having to dream no longer. Make love to me, my prince. You embrace, and at long last, you become one, the Red Prince and the Red Princess, a coupling eons in the making, and as world-moving as it is quietly intimate, here, in a lone wagon, in a lone spot, in Rivalon vast and fair. Peace, true peace. There's never been a moment such as this, the cuddling after, in this little satin nest. Hours pass. Sweet talk, sweet touches. She's asleep now in your arms. What do you do? 
Several hours later, you awaken with her lips on yours. Time to wake, sweet prince, and return to the mundanity of dreams once more. You dress and cast a loving glance over her body, still soft with sleep. Daylight bemists your eyes as you descend the wagon's steps, hand in hand. As you exit the wagon, you're awaited by a vile-looking lizard, his face the very definition of mischief. Well, 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 look who's coming up for air. Mighty powerful noises I heard coming from that there carriage. Teensy bit jealous I am. Ignoring you completely, he laughs wickedly and addresses Sada. My, oh my, you didn't tell lover boy anything, did you, dollface? Naughty, naughty. I... I am sworn. To another. That's right, little prince. Your boo is betrothed to a very different kind of king. All she needed from you was a dollop of prophecy juice. I dare say she got it. You utter villain! And I love you. Together we will brave it all, even the king. Oh, ain't that as sweet as a bowl full of peaches? Ain't to be this guy that I gotta break up the party now. Time for you and your belly full of litter to crawl back to the king, darling. Gonna get me some private time with Prince Charming myself. He grins widely, revealing rows of blackened teeth. I've always had a soft spot for red meat. And you think that won't happen here? We like sitting ducks. Wanted to get eaten by a bleeding void walker. And you think that won't happen here? Relax, sitting ducks. True enough. And that giant lizard would look like a great fucking shot. Right where I want it. You think that won't happen here? We like sitting home.
I'll yield to none. Prepare yourself. Reveal yourself.
the Reaper for me. Wanted to get eaten by a bleeding void. <laughs> True enough, and that giant lizard must look like a great fucking shot. The great creature gives you a disinterested look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all the good it's done me. Still, can't complain. At least ways I could complain, but no one would listen. The beast chews thoughtfully. Nah, no point moaning. You take what you get, and you don't get upset. Am I right? I am right. Still. Thanks and all. It turns away, disinterested once more. Stranger, not much to see here but a bunch of sad saps with full carts and empty buckets. That's what it looks like. We're on our way to Arx to set up shop for Lucian's Day, but there's no hope of that now. Whatever's going on in Paradise Downs has good and blocked the path. And unless you want to get a mouthful of death fog or get carried off by a void woken, there's no other way in. Only hopes that Alexander and the D.O. will blow through here and sort this mess out. Well, of course he did. Of course he did. Let me guess. The sun's burnt out and the gods are dead, too.
if we wanted to get eaten by a bleeding void walking. True enough. And that giant lizard must look like a great mutton chop to him. Paddy was pulling a cart. Paddy pulled it real good. Slow and careful. Careful and slow. Paddy carried the good stuff on account of Paddy was real good at it. Paddy fell in the ravine of... Oh. Well, howdy there. Nice to see a fresh face among these dour saps. <laughs> so it is. So it is. But these things never last forever. Either the death fog will blow over, or the fireworks and paradise downs will cool off. You'll see. We'll be right as rain before too long. We should have sailed from Driftwood, like I told you. Sure, if we wanted to get eaten. And you think that won't happen here? We like sitting ducks. Hmm. I'm getting paid. Ain't stuck anywhere. Keep your hands off the merchandise. Sure, if we wanted to get eaten by a bleeding void walking. True enough, and that giant lizard must look like a great looking chop to him.
You take care now. Move along, stranger.